Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, good evening, folks. It's been an active weekend for much of the state. Brittany Thorpe capturing some of the sunset this evening in St. George. Gorgeous conditions down there. Not a lot of rain. In fact, only a hundredth of an inch popping up at St. George Airport, but that wasn't the case for northern Utah. Renee Shamal sending this shot in of a rainbow in Draper. Not a lot of moisture out there when this was taken, but we've had a lot of rain across uh, the northern valley areas. One of the uh, areas that really stands out, area we saw some of the flooding on SR 201 near Lake Point and I 80. So almost three inches of rain reported in 48 hours. Hill Air Force Base at 1.72, 1.61 at Utah State University campus. We've had showers still going on throughout much of the evening, just starting to taper off as moisture moves southeast. Centerville 1.21. The Salt Lake Airport has had 1.11 inches of moisture. Olympus Cove right in an inch. Price at 0.32. And we've got pretty calm skies and conditions this evening. A look from the Colonial Flag shot. You can see that there as well. Some of the clouds still lingering. Temperatures we've been much cooler than the uh, kickoff we had into the weekend with the above normal temperatures last week. We were just 54 degrees today. 65 is average. Record is 85 from 1987. Overnight lows have been pretty close to average mid 40s today. Uh, we didn't have record precipitation, but we did yesterday. 0.28 uh, showing up at the airport. We had 88 hundredths of an inch yesterday, so nearly nine tenths of an inch of rain, which beat the previous record from 2021 of eight tenths of an inch. So record rainfall there. Temperatures right now 50 degrees across much of the Wasatch Front, 40s and 50s, even some still low 60s for uh, parts of southern Utah. 44 in Blanding. Good evening, Evanston, 39. Temperatures start to rebound some into tomorrow and early in the work week before we slide. Now yesterday we didn't quite dip as much, uh, but a system clipping northern Utah is going to impact more of our temperatures up north towards the middle of the week. Bring a little bit of moisture as well. Let's kind of walk you through what, to, what we can expect with future cast. Some cloud cover still moving in on Sunday. Isolated shower potential mainly over the mountain areas. Might squeeze out a shower or two in the valleys. We'll have a similar pattern on Monday. Another weak trough sliding through bringing mainly a dry front through the valleys. Could see a few more isolated showers over our mountain areas into Tuesday and that kind of kicks off that cooling trend towards the middle of the week. Models aren't showing a lot of rain moving in with what limited moisture moves through, but it'll keep just that slight chance of some showers throughout much of this next week. St. George, a high of 77 on Sunday, 82 on Monday, mid to low 80s Tuesday and Wednesday, some breezy winds, lots of sunshine, but just 78. We dropped some on Thursday as that storm system passes north, does impact some of our temperatures in St. George, but we start to rebound into next weekend. The Wasatch Front, isolated shower potential, mainly over the mountains, 62 for the high, upper 60s on Monday, back above average, near average highs on Tuesday, slight chance of showers Wednesday, just upper 50s for highs, a chilly night with upper 30s into Thursday morning, chance of moisture early, otherwise we're in the 60s, upper 60s Friday, low 70s by Saturday with sunshine.